Before changing the belt, disconnect power from the conveyor. For metalworking belts, choose one link on the idler end of the chain to remove the end caps. With a 3 seconds flat blade screwdriver, pry under the tab of the end cap and remove the end cap. Then repeat for the opposite side of the conveyor. Insert the screwdriver into one side of the belt, pushing the rod out. Remove the rod and separate the belt. Pull back the top side of the belt to the drive end of the conveyor. Remove the belt by pulling the belt out of the bottom wear strips. Next, feed the replacement belt into the bottom wear strips and pull through to the far end. Align the belt grooves to the evenly spaced sprockets on the drive end of the conveyor. Splice the belt together by pushing the plastic rod through the side hole on the belt. Then replace the end caps on both sides of the belt. With the belt removed, wear strips can be removed and checked for damage or wear. To inspect idler and wear items, loosen the fastening screws on both sides of the conveyor and remove the idler tail. Then remove the screws and head plate. Slide the idler sleeves off the end of the idler shaft. Inspect the wear bar surface. If it's worn or damaged, replace the wear bar. When reinstalling the idler tail with the wear bar, make sure that the flat end of the wear bar is flush against the conveyor. Tighten the fastening screws. To replace the iDrive timing belt, remove the in-frame drive side cover by removing the two iDrive cover screws. Unplug the motor connector from the cover's wiring connector. Loosen the four clamp plate screws. Loosen the timing belt tension cam and remove the timing belt. Replace the new timing belt over the driven pulley and the drive pulley. Tighten the timing belt tension cam and clamp plate screws. Obtain a 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch belt deflection at the center of the belt. Over tightening of the timing belt will result in reduced gear motor and timing belt life. Plug the motor connector into the wiring cover and replace the drive side cover. Secure with two head plate fastening screws. To run the conveyor, attach the quick disconnect end of the power supply to the power jack and tighten.